Hello everybody, hope you're all having a brilliant start to the weekend. For today's message I'm going to be jumping into the Divine Masculine Energies and we can begin with the first card. You are my daily motivation, your soul, the essence of who you are inspires me and helps me navigate the path of life. Our love will never die because true love lasts forever. So it doesn't matter if you're looking at your current reality and thinking this is shit. Now look look at what I've done to serve you. It's time to unpack it. It's easy to let go of the old world. Well, it's no good. And put your energy into creating your heaven on earth. It's a choice presenting a whole new reality. We don't have to physically speak to resolve anything, although it seems like nothing's happening. There's so much going on all on the inside. Getting emotional and illogical doesn't serve anyone. If something feels bad, if a thought feels bad, don't follow that thought. Obstacles are being removed from your path. That's why my job is partly to point you to emotional places to move through. Understand your power in, in our union. It's a process of awareness through discovery. What your power in our union means. Please know how powerful you are. There's no need to be afraid of how powerful you are. The divine moves through me to bring you more stuff. So you're obviously going deeper. Look at the divine logic. If I trigger a bad feeling, the bad feeling is the obstacle. Just move through it. The divine gave an opening and the time and space to handle it. Gracious receptivity. So to give love, you have to be all right with receiving love as well. And your life purpose, your mission and your union are one. Your reality is directly addressing these so you can move through and heal these, raise the vibrations, the vibration in every area. Go deeper and inevitably the divine brings you your next layer. Your ultimate lover is right here all the time. All the divine wants is to be close to you. The divine may give you a dream you can work towards. But you already have all you need. The divine provides for you, loves you. All you really want and all you get is through the path of ascension. Including your ultimate lover. Fertility, so it's it's coming to fruition. Of course, you are desiring to birth your union, but it it is ripening, it is growing, it is evolving, it is coming to the place where it is going to be born. You're at the we're at the point of deepening in love. I'm feeling the other within us more consistently. Maybe focused on another project, but always aware of me. It's like when I appear to be completely distracted, you're always on my mind, you're always on my heart, I'm always aware of you. The energy is gaining momentum. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a huge build up to a great big crescendo or even an anticlimax no it's a more peaceful building of energy that we have here it's just an ex constant expansion and you don't have to say strong affirmations to get what you desire 
Because if it is your desire, it's yours anyway. You don't have to make it happen. The divine place, the desire in your heart. You don't control your desire, you just say yes or no to it. <clears throat> Starseed, what lights you up? Do more of it. Follow your passion, follow your desire. It's okay to honour your desire. And of course you desire your man. It's safe to do so, to desire me this much. You have a huge desire for your man that you've nurtured and cultivated, and that's okay. But you don't need anything from me. The divine place, the desire in your heart, and you said yes to it. So it's the divine's responsibility to show you the way. It's not your responsibility. Just show the divine that you can do it. She already knows that you can do it. I already know that you can do it. You were created perfectly capable. The, the divine doesn't require your results to approve of you. You were already created fully approved. You're perfect as you are. Just keep moving through any challenges. If this is real, what you and I share, it's safe to let it be real. It's safe to let it be real. Focus on your blessings. Yes, you will be enriched in every way. So you can always be generous. So just allow the richness and abundance and happiness to come in that's that's here just for you and me. Do you need to control what's real though? Manipulate what's real in order to be happy? No. What's real should autom automatically provide your happiness. It's possible you don't see the whole picture. You see maybe one piece at a time. And that's okay too. It's safe to not know everything at once. It's safe to know the divine and then you do know everything. But you don't need to be in control of everything because everything provides for you. You don't need to know how it's going to play out or what twists and turns will happen. You know that I'm yours and you're going to be with me. I don't think it was possible to feel this much thoughts of you fill my head. Yep, and you're not going anywhere. But then I am choosing to think of you, to have you on my mind all the time. Because of the amount of happiness that you bring. And also that's where you belong, that's your home. Your home is in my heart. Yeah, you're still present in my heart. I can feel it. It's there. I know the truth of it. It won't change based on your or my perception. It's only revealing an expansion of the truth. Not a manipulation of the truth, but the real truth, the eternal truth. The truth is that you do have communication with me in your heart. And if you feel otherwise, return there or heal the blocks to it. Mirror it right there. You are not abandoned because I'm here with you and I can feel you here with me. F feel the truth, find the truth, get clear on it and live from that place. If the truth calls you to communicate outwardly with me, then do it. If you're not getting back what you enjoy, then you're not putting out what you enjoy. You won't get something back that you want by putting something out that you don't want. Anxiety, control, pressure. You, If you put those things out, you'll get them back or at least a boundary. But choose to know Choose, or choose, choose to let go of those old ways of being and just be open and allow. A need closes or a lack 
and a choice opens and nearly shuts down communication. Unconditional love opens. It's very different. Healing. So we want to be healing regrets. Oh, I'm certainly healing regrets as you continue moving through and healing resentments. Or else we won't be able to be with each other in a happy manner. Moments of challenge come up but immediately resolve them. So that we have nothing but love for each other in our hearts. Stay grounded in your heart and accept when you're feeling things that are not so nice. Except that's a possibility no matter what happens as we move forward towards perfect union. Because, uh, because the ups and downs, the feeling feelings ain't so great that arise that are requiring healing through sending love there, they will keep keep on arising beyond union all the way to full enlightenment. You know, the work don't stop at union, not at all. Spring, so we have a change of seasons coming. A change of seasons on the inside. really feel how we have open communication right now in the heart you desire perfection it's okay to demand and claim perfection but you get it by not avoiding the yucky feelings don't sweep them under the rug show up clear them resolve them move forward this is what creating a state of perfection is remove the nothing from what's already there Perfection is the order of what is, and that's what we're going to be having. So experience perfection, or you won't be experiencing the order of what is. And all you need to do is just cleanse your perfection. So come into your true state, become absolutely yourself, so that we recognise ourselves fully and we recognise each other fully. That's all we have to do. Mm. Why pause say no? So just have a little bit of patience with the process at the moment because you are going at the perfect pace. And you don't have to do anything on the outside because we can find perfect communication with each other right now. It's never inappropriate to communicate internally. It must happen at all times. If you're not communicating in your heart, or you're having the flow of communication, the oneness, the sharing of love, just work on that. Unconditionally love me in your heart right now, where we're one. Love me there and don't hold back. Be generous, don't put up any blocks. Be to that communication, let it flow. I was always there all along. It doesn't mean that abrasive stuff won't come up. Never hold resentment in your heart towards your beloved. It doesn't get you what you want. Don't punish yourself. Let it go. All you have to do is love there. That heals it. That gets results. There's no block bigger than any other. It's just an illusion of separation. So love yourself there. Because perfect love heals completely. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. If you would like a personal reading or twin flame coaching, please check the description box below. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you really enjoy your weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.